Hello, and welcome to Fab Studio. In this intermediate tutorial, we'll be discussing camera controls, loading and man manipulating multiple objects, and deleting these objects. To start, we'll add a dodecahedron to the print tray. After you have added your first object, you can click on the Load Objects button or go to the View menu and click Load Objects to add additional objects. If we want to add the face as a second object, the process is identical to adding the first. Once you have added a second object, you can repeat the same steps to add additional objects or move your mouse over to the objects to get editing controls. To move an object around the print tray, you can move your mouse to the red or green arrows and click to drag the object freely around the screen. If you drag the object off the screen, it will delete the object. The object can also be deleted by first selecting the object and clicking on the Delete Objects button. In the case that the objects are overlapping or hard to locate, you can click on the Arrange Objects button. To, a to access this button, go to the menu bar and click on the View and select the Edit op Objects option. In the case that you want to change the size of an object, mouse over your object and use the orange tabs to resize the object. If you want to vis visually inspect the object from a different angle, the zoom controls can be accessed both with the mouse and keyboard. If you're using the mouse, right-clicking once on the print tray will center your view on that point. Or if you click and hold down the right mouse button, moving the mouse will allow you to zoom in and out and also rotate left and right about the mouse click. If you're using the keyboard, pressing the arrow keys will allow you to move around the print tray. And if you would like to zoom or rotate about the spot, hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys much like the right mouse click. After you're satisfied with the locations and the sizes of your objects, Click on the Select Materials button and choose what materials uh, you would like for your objects. Make sure all your objects are assigned to a material. Once you have finished choosing materials, click to the Send to Printer button and then click on Create Print Job. When the pathing process finishes, the Send to Printer button will be enabled and clicking on the button was sent you to the Fab at Home interpreter. For information on the Fab at Home interpreter, please see its documentations.